What do you get when you mix one of the most well-known brands in camping with one of the most popular floor plans in the double over double bunk with a super slide, all for right around 6,000 pounds? You get the Coleman Lantern 263BH. Let's dive in and check it out. And again, folks, this is a 2021 Coleman Lantern 263BH beautiful floor plan. Take a look at the kitchen. You have a ton of countertop space here. This beautiful seamless countertop. Now, the seamless countertop does a couple things for you. One, it just looks a lot nicer, but more importantly, you don't have the T-mold around the side, so you don't have to worry about that popping off. That's also less chance for water to get in there. And it allows you to undermount the sink. And when you can do that, not only is it a cleaner look, but it's a lot more functional because you know any kind of dirt or crumbs or anything like that, you can just sweep right off into the sink super simple and easy and speaking of this sink look at that gorgeous apron front stainless steel bowl kind of taking that farmhouse look and feel right there i love that they have done this big bowl too so if you have residential size pots and pans you can actually fit them right down in there uh, not only do you have the big countertop space, but again, you have prep space right here, which is important because you, you know, you have to prep food in your kitchen. So you have that plus the recessed cooktop, the three burner cooktop with the glass cover. This just folds up and back like so, kind of acts as a backsplash because the glass is nice and easy to clean. But you'll see that you have a backsplash on there too. And the cool thing about this is it's not just a uh, wallpaper, it's actually a separate wall board, so it is easier to wipe down and clean up. Three burner cooktop, as I mentioned, folks, that front one is high output. Oven underneath, the knobs light up. If you like the blue light look, of course, you have the oven there. Just pop that down, kind of show you the size. Good for, you know, casserole dishes, enchiladas, whatever else you want to toss in there. And one of the keys to a kitchen is drawer space. And folks, you will see here, you have not one, not two, but three drawers. The bottom ones there are nice and deep too. So if you have larger items that you're bringing with you, uh, like I bring like an immersion hand blend you can fit it in there. Apple core, right? Tends to stick up a little bit. Can still fit them in there, no problem. One of my favorite parts and something I love when manufacturers do is this right here, and that's give you space underneath the sink for a trash can. You can see here you have plenty of space for it. That way you don't have to have your bag tied to like a knob or anything, tied to one of your poles hanging out, because no one wants that. It smells, it looks gross. You want to be able to put that away, right? Coming around over to the front, I do want to show you this as well. As soon as you walk in, you will see additional storage. So this can be for pots and pans, or you know what else? You walk in, you want to kick your shoes off, you can toss them right in there. That way they are out of the way. So it kind of gives you a couple different uh, options. You will see electrical outlets built right into the sidewall. So that way they are very convenient rather than being underneath the cabinets where you have to have a cord hanging. Here you can put your coffee maker right there, plug it in, you're good to go. You'll also see USB ports right above. So if you need a place to charge your cell phone, that's a great spot for it. All across the top, rather than having uh, the wood panels with a frosted glass helping to break up that wood look a little bit. Of course, LED lights underneath, we'll have those throughout. And you know, they use about a tenth of the power as your old standard halogen bulbs. You'll see, I see the microwave there, hood underneath with both a light and fan. Fridge freezer combo, open that guy up again just to show you plenty of space in there. This one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. This is something else that's important. When you're talking about a, a bunk model, a rear bunk model like this, you need to have storage. Now you can use this for multiple different things. If you want it for pantry space, you can use it for pantry. If you want it for kids clothes, you can use it for kids clothes. It gives you options. Now you'll see that there is a lot of storage underneath one of the bunks. I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, so if you know you do want big pantry, then that is exactly what you have here. Those are deep shelves. Something else I like that is new for 2021 is this right here. You'll see that they went to a GEAC unit. So you have your control right there, simple and easy to use. Um, you know, the AC unit's right up here on the ceiling. It is ducted throughout, but it also has a quick dump option. So you can close it off like so, and it'll uh, go through all the duct work, or you can open it up, and all that cool air will dump right into this main area, which is perfect when you are loading or unloading your RV. Back in the corner is the bathroom. A couple things I like about this as well. One of them is you have a door here. 
So when you're talking about rear corner bunks, you generally have two different setups. One is this layout we have right there where you have the uh, bunks on the off camp side. On the camp side is a bathroom. That way you have the door so you can come right in, use the bathroom, head right back out. You don't have to bring dirt all the way through the camper. Uh, it's just very convenient to have. The other option is they flip flop and the bathroom's on the other side. So it's not quite as easy to access the bathroom, but oftentimes in that style layout, you will get an outside kitchen. So if that's something you're looking for, the outside kitchen, you'll want to bunk on the camp side. But I personally, again, I really like this. You come in, do your business, head right back out. Uh, I'll take a seat on here. I'm six foot tall, folks. You see that I have plenty of space for my knees. Great shoulder room right here too. You know, I'm not bumping into anything. You have the large sink over to the side. So, you know, when you're washing your hands, you have plenty of room there. You're not splashing water all over the place. Actual medicine cabinet, it's a mirrored medicine cabinet rather than just having like a plastic one like a lot of manufacturers use. This one right here is a, a nice uh, medicine cabinet. When I step into the shower, again, I'm six foot tall. You see, even without the skylight, I can still clear the ceiling so you don't have to duck down at six foot, which, you know, can be important for me. I oftentimes will use the shower at whatever campground I'm staying at, but sometimes it is nice to have the option. I know my wife uh, certainly appreciates having the shower right here in the RV. And then in the back, of course, this is a bunk unit. 300 pound weight capacity on these bunks, folks. Uh, teddy bear bunk series so they're nice and soft you'll see usb port there so if again if it's a rainy day kids want to sit here and play on their tablet they have the capability to do that a ladder this is something that is often overlooked but is very important for me because you know my uh, five-year-old daughter always wants the top bunk but it's hard for her to get up there you know she to put her foot on here and jump up is very difficult this ladder makes it nice and easy to get up there and i know again it's something that's very uh, small in the grand scheme of things, but it's just one of those things to think about when you're looking at these rear bunk models. Now I will show you size again. As I mentioned, 300 pound weight capacity. I am a six foot male. You can see right here, I can completely stretch out. So if I have a pillow, I'm good to go. My legs are completely straight. I am very comfortable. Uh, and again, USB port here as well as an LED light. Then you have an emergency exit in the bottom. Hopefully you never have to use that, but of course, in the event of emergency, you just know it's kind of a peace of mind that it is there. I talked about big storage. Look at this. You see this right here? This is a handle, super simple to get to, easy to access. Open that up and look at that. Massive storage right there. So uh, this is super helpful because if you have you know, like a dirty laundry, uh, dirty laundry basket, something like that. You can throw that in there. If you have a duffel bag of clothes, uh, it just gives you a lot of different options there. And you can stuff all that right underneath the bed, more bedding, things of that nature. And of course, one of the big draws to this floor plan is the super slide. That's what gives you all this space right here and makes this whole living area so open. The dinette has plenty of seating for four people. Take a look at that, no issues whatsoever. I can comfortably sit four people here. This does drop down into additional sleeping space. In lieu of storage up top, they went with larger windows, so the slide lets in a lot of natural light there along that slide wall. Of course, LED lights right up above me. Um, if we take a look over, excuse me, right over to the sofa, this jackknife sofa has a couple really cool things about it. One, it's a sofa right now, but let's say it's just, uh, you know, two of us. Let's say the kids are outside riding bikes and, you know, the wife and I just want to sit here and relax. I can fold this down just like so. Now I kind of have like a pseudo theater seating, right? Just got like a little throw pillow right here. You're nice and comfortable. You have some cup holders there. And of course it is a jackknife sofa, so it does still fold down into a bed and you have huge storage underneath. The other cool thing though is this right here, as you saw, you can just drop this down and look at that. Easy access, it's magnetic. So you just put it up like so. Very easy to access whatever you wanna store under there. And as you're sitting here, sitting in the dinette, again, maybe you wanna watch TV. Look how big this wall space is. This is something else that I like. A lot of manufacturers will try to frame it in and it really limits how big of a TV you can have. And I know a lot of people, you know, if you're watching from the back in the dinette, it's a decent ways. But here, you can have a nice big TV, no issues whatsoever. They show you exactly where to mount it. Connections, of course, right underneath. And then you still have the multimedia center there. Um, and this one does have an HDMI input on it. So if you need to plug something in there, you're good to go. Fireplace underneath. This is cool too, because again, not only does that look really nice, but more importantly, that's a space heater, folks. So if you're at the campsite, chances are, unless you're a seasonal, you don't have to pay for electric. So with that, you can fire it up, help take the chill off in this space. 
making our way into the bedroom you'll see the queen bed right there uh storage underneath i'll open this up so you can take a look so you can see the storage there it's a little bit of storage at the foot of the bed on both sides you have your nightstands with drawers electrical outlet and usb ports on both sides you have a place to charge your cell phone and still a place to plug in a cpap machine wardrobe on both sides with hanging space shelf across the top and if you want a tv in the bedroom right there it is connections are up top last thing i want to touch on folks if you look right here you'll see that this one has actual doors rather than a curtain you know uh, i know that in an rv it's tough to get any kind of privacy but i always appreciate when i have a real you know door a slider door like this rather than a curtain just to get a little more privacy a little more separation at night with the slide all closed up in the 263BH, what you will notice is that you still have access to the refrigerator. So if you need to pull over and you know make yourself a quick sandwich, you can do that. You uh, still have access to the bedroom up front if you need to take a nap. And right back here, again, you still have access to the bathroom from two separate ways because you can get in right here. You can also access the door from the outside. Speaking of the outside, let's go take a look. And on the outside of the 263BH, one of the things you will notice right away, folks, is that this one comes with power everything. You'll see right here, this one has the power tongue jack. When we go around the corner, you'll also see a couple other power options. And what it's doing is really trying to make life easy, trying to make camping simple. And so with this right here, you simply flip the switch that will raise and lower the tongue. There also is a light for added visibility at night. And of course, a manual override in the rare event the power tongue jack fails. Right behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. You'll also see rails for your battery. You have a diamond etch plating on the front. Uh, that's that will help some of the uh, help prevent some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle that way it doesn't dent all this it'll just hit that rock guard helping to preserve that beautiful front end coming around to the side this one has a large pass-through storage you'll also see a magnet so you can just put it up there like so oh, let's see if we got a little bit of rain last night so a little bit of water dripping but take a look at how big the pass-through is on the coleman lantern series so big uh, pass through there, large door too, large baggage door. This is something that, you know, that a lot of people overlook. They don't think about, you know, if you have larger items like a big grill, chairs, things like that, you want to make sure you're going to be able to take those with you. Having a larger baggage door will allow you to fit a lot of those items in there. I talked about having a lot of power amenities on the outside and there it is. You'll see this one comes with a power awning. Touch a button to roll it out. Same thing to go right back in. LED light strip on there as well so you have light at night. And lastly, with the power folks, this unit also has power stabilizer jacks. Now, bear in mind, you don't want to use those to level out the trailer. You will still want to use blocks, but those are, those are your stabilizer jacks. So after you set everything up at the campsite, simply flip the switch that will drop those stabilizer jacks down and that will help prevent it from uh, rocking and stuff as you're moving around inside. It'll help stabilize the RV. Another great feature on the outside of the 263BH is this right here, which is the solid step system. Now these simply fold right into the door, very easy to use. The big advantage of course uh, is the fact that they are very solid, just as the name implies. You can see here, folks, I'm over 200 pounds. I can run up and down these things and they don't flex. Also aluminum treads, that way the steps won't rust up on you. I'm sure you've seen that, you know, after an amount of time, you, you pull out the steps and there's a bunch of rust. Not going to be the case here. And there are adjustable feet so you can adjust it to the campsite. Electrical outlet on the exterior is always important in case you need to plug in an electric griddle or any other electric access. It's always great to have that. Your uh, fresh water fill will be on the campsite here. So if you're going somewhere, you don't have city water, you wanna make sure you know where to fill the fresh water tank and that will be the location there. Making my way down a little bit further, black tank flush. This is something that's super convenient to have. What this does is rather than having to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out the black tank, you just hook that hose up right here. There's sprayers built in. It'll wash it out for you and that'll help to make sure that your sensors are reading correctly. It'll help wash off any solids or toilet paper, anything that gets stuck on those sensors in the black tank. Something you should do every time when you're done camping. A couple exterior speakers, those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but if you want to listen to music while you're out here, that gives you the ability to do it. This is the secondary entrance right here, and as I mentioned, folks, this one goes directly into the bathroom. Now, uh, you'll notice this one doesn't have a window on the door. I do get some people that get a little weirded out when the bathroom door has a window. So you'll see that Coleman went without one, so that way, you know, again, you feel a little more private when you're in there. 
square tubular bumper with the end cap, so it gives you a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Right up top, you will notice backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. Right around the other side, so 30 amp power cord is there. You'll also see a cable inlet. City water inlet is located right next to that. And if we drop down, you will notice the termination with both the black and gray tank valves located next to it. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2021 Coleman Lantern 263BH, an absolute beautiful family travel trailer. If you're interested in this one and you want price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.